I am Dr. V. S. Mehta, Chairman of Neurosciences at Paras Hospital, Gurgaon. I was earlier at Neurosciences Center at Polynesia Institute of Medical Sciences. Today, we are going to speak about the glioblastoma multiformis. Glioblastoma multiformis is one of the very high, fast-growing cancer of the brain. I would say this is the worst cancer in the body. It comes from the brain cells called as astrocytes. It's one of the common brain tumor. Out of the total brain tumors, about 30 to 40 percent are the gliomas, and among the gliomas, about 60 percent are glioblastoma multiformis. The most important differentiation between the other tumors is the duration of symptom. Because in the brain, the symptoms occurs because of the location of the tumor. So depending on the location, the symptoms would occur. But it is the duration which is the most important. That is shorter the duration, that means likely to be a high grade cancer. And the commonest symptoms are headache, which have increased over a last couple of days or weeks. Associated with vomiting, vision deterioration or double vision, weakness in any part of the limbs. Now, these other symptoms like weakness in the limbs and uh, neurological signs will depend on which part of the brain the tumor has been arising. Once it is diagnosed, the, because the glioblastomas are very bad tumor, as we said, the commonest is if they are surgically resectable, they should be resected and then followed by radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Glioblastomas are never curable. We are only trying to extend the life period from few weeks to few months. It's not curable. Aim of treatment is that we stop further deterioration of the patient. Whatever improves because of the pressure, they are bonus points. But we should not produce any further neurological deficit in these patients. That is the, our aim of surgery. And then, of course, we have to give radiotherapy and chemotherapy, which controls further this tumor. Okay. I would only say that today, with the advancement in surgical technology and the imaging, we can pinpoint the tumor and very safely resect these tumors without producing much of any deficits. Whatever deficits are there may remain, but we do not produce any new neurological deficit because as such, the life period is short and one should not produce the deficits to further deteriorate his quality of life.